Hey guys, um, I got a great question. Uh, I'm just going to shorten it down a little bit, but it, it's, uh, it says, Hey Brian, I started my own properly focused journey into body fitness world about a year ago, and I've become addicted to the feeling it gives me. I'm at the stage now where I want to learn all the secrets to nutrition so I can utilize my time more wisely and seek out my true potential. So put simply, where would you suggest I start learning about nutrition and fitness? I'd rather not study full-time for three or four years. Any advice and core suggestions will be greatly appreciated. Where did you learn? Um, so hopefully, a great question first of all. and Hopefully I can support you by telling you about my fitness journey. Um, and what I did and to get me kind of to the level where I'm at now. Um, I started my journey when I was about 16, so about 10 years ago, um, when I first joined the gym. And something that really supported me at the time was from about the age of 15, I bought every single men's fitness magazine there was. Um, as soon as the new men's fitness magazine came out, I bought it and I read it from front to back. Um, I've got a stack of them in my room about this high. Um, I'll try and put a picture up of it because I still have a lot of them. Um, and that helped me no end. Reading about fitness and reading about nutrition and reading about supplementation and how these things work um, will support you in your journey. Um, it doesn't really matter where you get your information from as long as you're getting plenty of it. What you'll find is when you're reading magazines and reading things on the internet and hearing things from me and other fitness people online, you'll start to see the same things coming up. Um, you know, high protein diets, um, using, uh, getting your heart rate up during training, using rep ranges to support your goals. These things keep reoccurring. And that's how you know that's the stuff that's going to work. Um, it's the stuff that has been tried and tested and works for so many people. Um, you'll know what foods are good for you because you'll see them coming up time and time again. You'll see chicken breasts coming up in Muscle and Fitness. You'll see it coming up on my page. You'll see it coming up on bodybuilding.com. Um, chicken, broccoli, sweet potatoes, porridge, oats. These are nutritional foods that just keep coming up on different fitness people's pages. Um, and you know it works because so many people try it and it works for so many people. Um, Another piece of advice I can give, and I still do this, is just read as much as possible. Um, I used to spend nights just going through forums on bodybuilding.com um, about nutrition and seeing what other bodybuilders, bodybuilders were doing, seeing what other athletes were doing, seeing what other physique guys were doing. Um, and then if there was something came up that I wasn't sure of, I would research it more. So if somebody said, well... You need to eat protein because it's going to burn more calories in your body because it's, uh, it takes your body, it's harder for your body to break it down. I would open a new tab and then I would do my research on that. So things like that that interest you, just follow them up. Um, you don't need to do a three or four year course. Um, I've been lucky. I, I, about three years ago, I did a personal training course and that did extend my lot and my knowledge. Um, it did a lot of anatomy and physiology, made me understand the body better, how it worked. Um, and then by working with different clients and different people, you see how their bodies work and how different nutritional things work for them. Um, and that it also expands your knowledge. So talking to more people, um, working with more people, and surrounding yourself with a network of people that are into fitness and into nutrition because you're bouncing ideas off one another. Um, and that's really how you get better at it. In terms of nutrition-specific things you could do, um, I think the only advice I can give is read as much as possible and then apply it. Like The only way you're going to learn about nutrition and about training and about anything is reading around it and then applying it to yourself. I know personally that carb cycling works for me. Going low carb for three or four days and then having a refeed works really well for my body. My body responds to it. I keep body fat low. I keep my refeeds around my leg training so it brings up my legs and I have plenty of energy for that day. And my brain doesn't stop, doesn't slow down working. My body fat doesn't rise and my strength doesn't go down because that program, that nutritional program works for me. But I've tried loads. I've read about a keto and following keto going zero carbs. Um, I've tried high protein and high uh, vegetable diets, I've tried smoothie diets, I've tried 
whichever ones are going out there, I've tried them to see. High fat, low carb, consistently. High carb, high fat, and all these different um, diets that are out there. But you don't know until you read about it, apply it, and see how it works for you. Um, my, that advice also goes for training. You can read a pro- about a program, but until you try it yourself and see if it works for your body, you won't know. Um, I know that the DTP program works for me. The 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pyramid coming down and going back up. My body explodes when I do this program. Um, but there are other ones that don't work that well for me. I don't really do a 4 by 10 where you do 4 sets and 10 reps because it just doesn't work for me. Um, my body needs the high intensity. It needs the low rest. It needs the high volume. So again... Read about all these things. What I'll do is I'll put a link to the magazines that I, that I still buy and still read. I'll put a link to some of the books that I either have read or am currently reading that are to do with fitness and nutrition. I've got loads of fitness and nutrition books. Um, I love reading about food, like GI books and um, Maximum Muscle Minimum Fat books where they talk about your how certain foods work within your body. Amazing reads. Um, you don't need to do a three or four year course, if I'm perfectly honest. What you need to do is just the time you have. Think about it. You've got two hours in the gym. The rest of the day is time where you're picking up tips and learning about fitness and learning about nutrition. So people on YouTube, you know, fitness gurus, magazines, books, bodybuilding.com, websites. What I'll do is I'll put links to all of these things down below. Um, and hopefully they'll support you in your journey, buddy. So I've gone pretty long in this video. So if anyone that has stayed to listen to the end of it, I hope it supports you. If you've got any questions, leave a comment down below, um, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.